Say goodbye to the Great White Way. The producers of Hamilton are being criticized for a casting call that said whites need not apply. Hamilton, as you know, the hit Broadway musical about the rap battles that led to the formation of the United <laughs> States, is seeking actors for its upcoming tours. The audition notice stressed how easy it was to get in for an audition. They said no prior theater experience necessary. The one thing you couldn't be? White. The audition notice explicitly states non-white men and women 20s to 30s. After many complained, producers said they would amend the ad, but that they did nothing wrong. It is essential to the storytelling of Hamilton, they said, that the principal roles, which were written for non-white characters, except the villain, be performed by non-white actors. Their problem was they came out and said it. Look, producers, if you don't want any white people to come for your audition, you don't have to say non-white. There are many other phrases that you could use, like... No khakis or American apparel allowed at audition. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Seeking only true players for real. Gangsters, not wanksters. Oh, my gosh. Were you in Music Man or Oklahoma? Don't come. <laughs> no NASCAR fans. No Wes Anderson fans. No Frisbee players. And, of course, no Hamilton fans. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, white people love oh, Hamilton, don't no, they? No, they do. <laughs> I still haven't listened to the soundtrack. I'm, like, shunned from my people. Uh, my kids but, are singing it. Everybody knows yeah, Hamilton, people who yeah, haven't even seen the show. It's really impressive. And I think one of the reasons why it's so impressive is that it has a very diverse cast playing historically white characters. And the reason why that's okay is this is art. It's a play, so you can play around with the roles. And furthermore, I've heard that at these auditions for the tour, they're even welcoming women to play the roles of men. Men have some of the greatest roles in theater, and we're left to play, especially in this time, wenches and barmaids. Yeah. Like, let uh, me play like Joanne, a real warrior. It's and so I think true. it's wonderful. I think it's uh, because there aren't as many of those opportunities available, this is one that's scripted for it and let it happen. Somebody's doing that right now. Somebody who's watching Joanne is they're scribbling out a treatment for an all female <laughs> we, we, uh, we revolutionary hope. war. <laughs> we hope that's what they're scribbling. It's fantastic. We, we never really know what they're doing when they're watching Joanne at home. They're oh, gonna, no. They're gonna be Ideas. <laughs> Look, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I see what happens on yes. Twitter. So they're tweeting. Well, they're live tweeting but, the show. But Joanne is absolutely right. Like the, that. Sh by the way, the show is fantastic. It's probably the best play, best American piece of theater, one of the best American pieces of art in 50, 60, 70 years. It actually works beautifully. It's sort of incredibly astonishing to watch it. I was dragged to see it. I thought rap battle. You know, how? 30 seconds in, I'm totally mesmerized. It's actually a work of genius and. Joanne's right, it's art. So we should actually stop, we should stop making rules about art in general. Uh, everyone. We should just let them do what they're going to do. Eventually, this show is going to be on every, every high school play ever, and you're going to have a lot, bunch of like really, really unrhythmic white kids <laughs> doing it. So it's eventually going to be uh, white. So relax. It eventually it will? Yeah. It won't, there'll never be a barbershop <laughs> quartet in it, mm. but it'll, it'll eventually be all white. Okay, Katie, look, uh, you remember when Orson Welles did Black Hamlet? Uptown, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Right? I think we all remember that great production. It was, it was groundbreaking. It was Macbeth, but... Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always get those confused. I know. I mm -hmm. uh, um, but, Joanne, uh, uh, Katie, I don't know, say something. <laughs> say anything. Can I say this? There is just the problem with the non-white verbiage. Because how many times, Jen, back me up, it, it, uh, in castings, there's always a breakdown. Is this really a surprise to anybody? Oh, no. They're going to fill a part, and you need to know if, what the specs are going to be for that particular role. Why yeah. is anybody surprised by this? It's true. And then when they, if they want to cast a white family, they will say all ethnicities, and then they just toss the headshots aside and take the white people, right? Oh. That's what they do. They uh, just no, I mean, I, I got nailed at a TV Critics Association thing from a, a critic who was angry that the, the show I was doing uh, was all white. And I said, it's a family show. It's like they're all in the same family. Yeah. Like five people. Well, couldn't one of them be of color? Like, well, that would be weird. <laughs> How do you do that? Like, that's just a strange thing. Right? Yeah. So I say let everybody cast the way they want to cast. The, the beauty of Hamilton is that it is this kind of like incredibly multiracial cast. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's fantastic. Hamilton? Did you get an audition for Hamilton, Joe? No, uh, but I'll tell you what. I, I support these producers because uh, uh, I'm not an actor, but my agents will send me out on calls, and yeah. they will send you out on calls for anything because they just figure, oh, we'll just throw a dart and hope. Joe gets something, <laughs> and I'll get there, and I'll be like, Harlem Globetrotters, I'm not going to get there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But at least they're getting you out there. Right? Yeah, I'm getting Isn't to be getting seen. Building character, Joe. Yeah. Good for you.